They don't have a chair for Skeletor. <laughs> The next topic, and it is um, for people who don't know, Daniela Harris. She played um, Jamie Strong's Harris. daughter, right? Yeah, I think her name was ja no. Jamie. Jamie, yeah, I think her name was Jamie. Yeah, she was. Um, she, yeah, so her and the girl who played Laurie Strode in Rob Zombie's um, Halloween. Halloween. So they did a podcast. So this uh, Daniela Harris has her own podcast, you know. And a few days ago, about a week or a few days ago anyway, she came out and said that they were at an after party there recently. And uh, she was there with Jamie. It was an after party to Halloween. The Halloween was Inns Halloween? premiere. It was the Halloween Inns premiere. It was the after party. Right. Well, she was there and she said to... Um, she met, she hadn't never met Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, and obviously it was she. She said it was like a dream to meet her because she wanted to be like her on the movies, you know, <coughs> which is fair enough. So she approached Jamie Lee Curtis and said, "I played your daughter uh, in part four and five. and Jamie Lee Curtis said something like this: "I haven't seen those films. I don't care." I don't know who you are and shunned her straight ah. away. Yeah. Now, Daniela Harris was said on the podcast, she was waiting for her to turn around and say, oh, I'm only just kidding. Of course I know, but she didn't. And she walked off and Daniela Harris was really hurt by this. Now on another note, the do the girl, uh, I've forgotten the name. I should get it up really. Um, so her name is Aunt something Compton. Um, her name is, uh, her last name is Compton. Is it something? I think it's something and Compton. Uh, I'm just gonna get it out because it's gonna bother me. Her name is Scott Taylor Compton. Yes. Ah, there you go. I was close right. Enough. So <coughs> at the same event, I'm assuming because it sounded like it was. A similar thing happened to her. Now, not together at the I same think they were Okay, I think they were together, and they approached... If I'm not mistaken, I think they were together. No. They approached uh, they Jamie Lee Curtis. They gave me, Jamie Lee Curtis like, I don't know you bitches. And then no. she walked away. And then, okay. like, what happened was Daniela Harris was hurt, but what's her name? Compton? What's her name? Sarah her Taylor Compton. Okay. Sarah, okay, Sarah was apparently really hurt. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it was on the podcast she was crying. Yes. Yeah, so she started crying, like tearing up, talking about this because she legit was like hurt at the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis was like, I don't know you girls, like yeah. fuck out of my face. Yeah, basically. Yeah, and uh, they were really hurt. Now, Daniela Harris was hurt, but the other girl was crying, like really hurt by it. Now, I'm going to say this, there's another rumor. Now, this is a rumor because there is no merit to what this is being saying, but it's a rumor <laughs> going by other people. But Heather Langkamp was there. And you know the girl who played Tina in... You said uh, Heather Langkamp? You mean Nancy from Nancy, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know That's Tina, true. the girl who played Tina? Something white. Her name is anyway. Terry so, White? I don't know. I something her name is white. She played Tina. Apparently, Jamie Lee Curtis was very standoffish with them and very dismissive of them when they were near or approached her. Now, just want to make that clear. That's a rude. Look how unhappy Jamie looks in this picture. Good lord. I don't Look how know. She looks. I you don't know. She looks like I've got to do this shit. Like, who are these nobodies? I don't know these strangers. I never Look, seen them. Look, man, we about to roast Jamie Lee Curtis. She over here looking like that corpse from Beetlejuice. Remember when <laughs> this is my opinion on that. Look, again, when it comes to Stallone and what we said earlier on, I do think, look, as a professional, she only hurt your feelings. That's it. And that's not nice. And I agree. If she did do that, which we don't know because there's two sides to every story. Yeah. We're not hearing Jamie Lee Curtis' <laughs> side. But if she do that, she's really out of order. And that's just bad on her. But it's an insult. It's not even an insult. If you're insulted or hurt by it, that's not nice. But you're a professional actress, both of you, apparently. And so is Allegedly. she. And keep this kind of thing to yourself. Like, look, 
Unless she's a podcaster, though. Daniela well, Harris has a podcaster. I still think there's a professional courtesy there. Nah, with that. I, do. I, I, no, I do. Look, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I, if I, 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 I would. Daniela Harris has a podcast, and I don't know. See, here's the thing: we don't know how this conversation sparked up. She no. could have been asked something from an audience member. She could have been asked something from a fan. Hell, she could have just been ha- interviewing an old girl, and then she just broke down and cried, and then they just decided to fucking talk about it. Who knows how this conversation sparked up? But apparently, it bothered her so much to the point where she had felt like the need to bring it up. You know what I mean? So, I get it, but at the same time, this is also not like some unknown public knowledge. Like I've heard, Jamie Lee Curtis isn't like the nicest freaking person. I've never heard that. You've never heard that? No. I've heard. Look, I'm telling you, I've heard that Jamie Lee Curtis isn't like the really like nicest person. And on top of that, when people talk about Jamie Lee Curtis coming to like conventions and cons. They said that she kind of makes it seem like she's like above it. Now imagine Jamie Lee Curtis headlining a con, right? And they're telling her to take pictures with all these people from the different Halloween franchises. You think she really gonna want to stand next to Buster Rhymes and all these other people that were the cast members of Halloween Resurrection? A treat, motherfucker. Exactly. No, but seriously, like, really think about that. This, this, this could be the headline: the cast from Halloween Resurrection returns to to headline Monster Palooza. 2023 she's a part of that and if she's going to be like you really th- i think that jamie lee curtis would feel like she's above that shit and would yeah. not be like i'm not going to associate with these people from freaking halloween resurrection i was only in that movie for like 15 minutes anyway but right? it's still courtesy like i wouldn't be rude to anyone on purpose she could have kept it sh- if look we don't know we weren't there but she could have been oh that's great that's nice you know good for you and now you know but if she was as abrupt and bad for her that's terrible but now daniela harris has now since deleted that podcast because what she was worried about being blackballed by jamie lee curtis which is possible but you know what for me the damage is done you just too late can i address that because daniela harris ain't gonna be daniela harris is not a hollywood name daniela harris gets approached for b horror movies and certain type of shit daniela harris is supposed to be in a brand new film Directed by Damien Leone called Stream. And she and Felissa Rose, Felissa Rose from, from Sleepaway Camp, they're gonna be in it with Tony Todd and some other people. They she she is a niche actress, she gets picked for specific roles. Now, I was on a recent she was signing things online and she had a, a live QA, and I and we were and somebody asked her about like how she would want, like, does she want to ever go back to the Halloween franchise? Daniela Harris really does love the Halloween franchise. She even was thinking about different ways of how to bring her character back into the Halloween franchise, right? So imagine somebody who's basically made a whole damn living off of this one freaking character that she played when she was a kid. And this franchise means everything to her. Like, it's literally like her whole income, right? And it's her whole claim to fame. She's put everything into this damn movie. And then basically for the person who you kind of um, were meant to replace as the focal point in the arc, just suns you and just says, I don't know who you are. Fuck out of my face. Like, you know, like Jamie Lee Curtis could have been cool about it. That's what I mean. She could have been cool about it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just take a picture, da, 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 chop it up, whatever. Right? But she didn't. And then on top of that, like, why would... I don't think that Daniela Harris is lying. Why would oh, she? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think she's lying. I don't think she has to lie. Uh, and I think that this situation happened. I have heard people talk about how they want Jamie Lee Curtis to come as horror cons, and she acts like she's above it, and she's never going. And, and they, I've heard people say she's never going to do a con, like ever, ever, like never going to do a con. And I'm like, fuck, like that's that sucks. Like don't... I hate saying it, but I got a feeling that it did happen the way Daniela Harris says. I think um, it happened like that. And then I, I'm not I even gonna blame know. Daniela for talking about it. If she wanna talk about it, she can talk about it. She could air out her grievances. She, she could bring fucking Jamie Lee Curtis could pull up to her podcast and defend it if she wants to. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, she could have, but again, look, it's just Hollywood gossip, it's just rubbish. But I want to ask you guys now. 
Have you heard the podcast? What do you think? Do you think Jamie Lee Curtis is at B-I-T-C-H? Or do you think she's great? Do you think it's lies? What do you reckon? Let us know <laughs> in the comments below. And if you're live, let us know what you're talking about here. Now, who's the, the Rob Zombie Halloween movies aren't the best, but Malcolm McDowell is in them, so they are worth watching just for that. Right. <laughs> I thought Malcolm McDowell in part one was really good. I didn't like him in the second one because his character went from being a caring type Loomis to I want to make money selling books. It was like too much of a change in character, yeah. you know, um, but he's a great actor in general and he's from Britain. So, of course, I love him. But yeah, Dr. Loomis is the best character in Halloween franchise besides Michael himself. Mm. I, I guess my man just he was always drunk on set though. I, I like my, no, I think Michael Whitehall was the best character. But hey, let's talk about this real quick before we switch the gears. I wanted to I wish more people were in this damn room, but I feel like we kind of like spaced them out. But check it out. Um we got rumors about the Halloween ends ending. <laughs> it's so weird. So apparently the Halloween ends ending was changed two months before the movie was released. Yeah. And right. a lot of people don't like the ending of Halloween ends. A lot of people, I don't, I personally didn't like the ending, nor did I like the third act. <clears throat> and apparently like that yeah, whole third act was shot two months prior to the release of that movie. Apparently there was a whole different third act two months prior and they went to a screener they sat in the back. People gave, their, people gave their opinions. And what ended up happening was they didn't like the outcome. So they changed it. And not only that, I heard they went through two other endings. Because apparently one of the endings was Lori dies. And then one of the other ending was Corey survives. So how do you, Del Boy, feel about them changing the movie two months before its release and then also, what do you think about the idea of the alternate endings of one Corey living and then the other one, uh, Lori dying? Tell you the truth, I don't care. But I, I think it, yeah. because um, I feel like the rest of the movie was so... F I'm not going to swear, but the, uh, the rest of the movie was so bad, it didn't matter. Now, you know the bit where he grabbed her by the throat when he was dying? I thought she was going to be killed there. I was hoping. Yeah, but again, she didn't, and I didn't care. Um, I do think that Corey surviving might have been better in a sense because it felt the way he was killed off because we've got this whole story arc through the whole film all about him, and then, bang, stabbed myself, done, over. So there was yeah, no absolutely. real ending to his story arc. I don't know if he lived, would that have changed much in that sense? But I just feel like, all right, we're investing in this character now. And it's all right, let's forget it. Let's get back to Halloween for the last 20 minutes. It's like, what? What are you doing? And the fact that it took two months before this film came out showed that they had no real idea what they were doing. Well, not much faith in it either, to be honest with you. But that's not good. Um, uh, Hen uh, what I was going to say is, Anyway. Henry uh, says that uh, I agree. And wait, that, 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 that. oh, Scott Taylor Compton is kind of hot. I think Don Daniela Harris is kind of hot myself, but yeah. Uh, I agree. And Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, they turned Dr. Loomis into Dr. Phil. That's funny as hell. It's true. Hey, Sean from Better Call Saul has returned. Sean Franklin. Hello, uh, Sean. Hello, Sean. Sean. I remember. Yeah, I remember Sean. He was the Sean guy who was with with his with name. The Better properly. Call Saul videos, right? Yeah, Sean, remember we couldn't say sure. his name. <laughs> I want to make sure, man. Welcome yeah, back. Um, I'm sure it's him. Yeah, so honestly, look, personally, like I said, I would have preferred an ending where Corey lives. This is what I, if I would have ended the movie, this is how I would have ended it, right? I would have made them act like Michael Myers was dead. They they take him on a stupid road trip to the meat grinder, for, to, the, to the car place. They throw him in the meat grinder, but before they do it, he grabs Lori, drags her to the meat grinder, they all die together. Freaking the daughters go, ah! Like watching their grandmother get smothered up, smashed up to pieces. And then we do that scene. You know how they do the in Halloween, what they did with the original, where they go from house to house to house to house to house? Yeah. They do those solo shots. Yeah. I think one of the shots should have been of, of the house 
and they will show Corey dead on the floor. And all of a sudden, you see him sit up, and they, the screen goes dark, and then you hear it go. <sighs> you hear the breathe, like the iconic Michael Myers breath. It would have been perfect. Perfect. I agree that my favorite part of what you said there was him – because he's never really dead anyway, but if he actually grabbed her at that last moment and pulled her in too, that would have been a twist. It would have changed the film for me. I would want, you know what? Respect. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. But it didn't, and it was shit. So Exactly. But look, I'm telling you, and then they could have dipped in little shots like the original, and then you just stop on that one shot of Corey laying on the floor, then him sit up, screen goes black, and you hear the little signature. <sighs> You know, like the little freak, not Darth, Darth Vader, but not Darth Vader, but you know, like the signature Michael Myers. And, yeah. and then you hit the little, dun, 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 dun. it would have been tight. It would have been perfect. It would have been but good. It would have changed it, really it up. Good. But unfortunately, <laughs> we didn't get that. And the shame, but Davey from the 80s should have been writing this movie, it sounds like, if you ask me. Well, yeah, because apparently they don't know how to write a cohesive trilogy. You got three movies. You had three movies to do it, and they weren't able to do it. They were not able to. To finish it, and that's sad. Um, but so, what do you guys think? Do you let let us know in the comments below? Do you think that was a good idea what Davy said or not? Let us know. Yeah, now how do you like my ending versus what you guys got? How do you like? Uh, I, I personally can't wait to see the freaking the uh the, get the Blu-ray so I can see what freaking um what other stupid um endings they have. I want to see the other endings that were played to audiences. I really want to see that. I am. Uh, Sean says, "You think Superman and the Flash, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Shazam, Justice League, Team Titans, video games?" I've uh, played all of the superhero video games, especially with DC. Do you think Superman and the Flash, Green Arrow, Justice League, Team Video? I don't quite understand the question. Do I like him? Have I seen him? Do you I, think? I, don't know, I was like video game. Uh, I mean, so. there's a Team Titan game. I'm not sure if there is. I don't know about the Team Titan game, but. If it's Justice League, I'd play it. Um, I know that Superman, the game, has been in production hell again by Rockstar, who made uh, Grand Theft Auto. And, Rockstar uh, was making a Superman game? Yeah, yeah, an open world, but they kept putting on hold, which it's like what you spoke, me and you spoke about the other day. Ain't nothing, about, ain't nothing on Superman 64. <laughs> Nobody rings, got nothing on Superman rings, 64. Rings, rings, but yeah. Yeah, prior to the rings, boy. Oh, my God. That, that, yeah. I, wait, I've got that. I've got it up there. I believe you. But, but um, it's funny because it's like Spider-Man was such a great game for 64, and then you had rings. I was like, am I playing Sonic or am I playing Superman? Yeah. But um, I would like to do this. I would like to take a minute and tell you guys that uh, if you guys get a chance, I if you guys were disappointed with Halloween ends, I would recommend going to see Terrifier 2. Uh, Damian Leone and David Howard Thornton put a lot of time and energy into that movie. And me personally, I think it's worth it. So I, I, I would say if you're looking for a movie to watch around the Halloween time that's new, uh, I would definitely recommend going to see Terrifier 2. It is doing amazing in the movie theaters. It has a ridiculously low budget. It's like tenfolded its freaking budget. So like, and it's found like a lot of recent success, and I, I really think it's worth the hype. So go check it out. Yeah, well, you know, I've been looking forward to seeing that, and it's not been out. I should hopefully be seeing it tomorrow. And for everyone who wants yeah. to see my review, will be coming out as soon as I watched it in the next couple of days. So make sure you click subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you want to see that. I'm looking forward to that. More than I was looking forward to Halloween, to be honest with you. And Robert Pattinson is a great Batman, by the way. The guy is awesome and everything. I'm glad everyone people are starting to realize that <clears throat> he shouldn't be defined by Twilight, you know? Yeah, see, that was another character that had to dig himself out of a hole. But he did it, in, in my opinion, he did it with Good Time. Uh, if you guys have seen Good Times, that's a pretty good movie. And that already showed his acting chops. I mean, in order to show your acting chops, sometimes you got to go indie. Uh that's what I've that's what I've realized. Um <laughs> let's see. Do you guys like the Batman Arkham games? That's for yes. you. Yes. Now my <laughs> I heard son, they're amazing though. My son was was mad onto them. I love them. Um they're really good, all of them. I think there's four of them, but yeah, they were really good. And and I mean I'd love to make I wish they'd make another, but yeah, 
the question is yes i love them i thought they were great and x file says i want to see ter watch terrifier do it bro have you seen the first one have you seen the first one x files i have uh, seen the first one yeah the first one's good uh, really let's good. see dill you haven't seen it what are you waiting for what are we talking about i forgot the light, the one you were talking about, Robert Patterson, I think. Oh, good times. No, yeah, was it that? Because I haven't seen that, but no, I haven't. Don't know. Oh, terrified, too? Before, no. terrified, yeah, too, terrified no. too. I think I haven't watched it. It's not out here in the UK, it wasn't yet. Out in the UK. yeah, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, terrifier one. So let me tell you, you over there is the one who introduced me to the terrifier because I didn't even really hear about it, you know. So this came out, didn't it come out in 2016 or 17 or something like something that? Something like that. Yeah. So <laughs> this came out for a couple of years. And I think it was about a year ago when I first watched it, If about a year ago. Now, <laughs> wow. I mean, like, I've seen some gory shit, but it's pretty. But it was really, really entertaining. He's a great horror <laughs> icon. icon? Yeah, he's about he's definitely up there. Like he's he is like really good. Five. The film isn't like people go to see horror, and a lot of people are expecting like sure amazing not, stories. Yeah, amazing stories. But people like you and me, we can we like the amazing kind of sixth sense type things, but we also appreciate good kind of gore horror with no need for a backstory, <laughs> just pure macabre and 80s feel to it and that's what yeah this is a straight up 80s slasher a love letter to the 80s <clears throat> and i don't think people understand that people go into it like it's such a stupid story it has bad acting and i'm like you're missing the point <laughs> you're missing the point completely like it's not this isn't the exorcist this isn't hereditary it's not trying to tell you a long cohesive story it's just trying to get you from point a to point b and entertain the shit out of you which it does greatly yeah. Marvin X Files says I haven't seen the first Terrifier. Go so and go and watch it. Go watch it on Tubi, dude. It's free. Um, Henry says, "Did you guys see that they are making a Mario movie?" Yes, the trailer came out recently. Yes, it's um, what's his name? Uh, Chris Pratt <laughs> is playing Mario. Chris Pratt. I, I, I saw a little bit of it. I didn't watch all of it, but it looks it's, really it's, good. Yeah, I haven't like seen game. the trailer or whatever, but I know that Chris Pratt is playing Mario, which is an interesting choice, to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, anything to do with games and superheroes and Mario and Sonic, I'm on board. Chris Pratt, I don't know, but still, I think we'll see. He's a good actor. What do you reckon? Mario, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna see that. Oh, like, Sonic, Sonic's done well, so it might as well come out with its rival Mario and do. I that. need a live, I need a live action Mario movie. I need to redeem the '90s one. Oh God, yeah, Bob Hoskins. But yeah, wasn't that John Leguizamo too? That's it. Yeah, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the last topic, right? That was the last topic. All um, right, do you guys have any questions before we shut down? We had um, an amazing hour and 24 minutes. If you guys got any questions, hit us up. I just want to say before you ask, this when we I haven't got filters on this at all. I really am this good looking. So just before you ask me that, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. Any people want to just tell me how good looking I am, I would be up for that. Sure, Dale. Anyway, um, also make sure you guys tune in every, every Saturday, 8 p.m. Pacific time. We will be going live. We will have various topics uh, to cover. Whatever is new in the news, we will discuss it. We'll talk about it. If you guys have topics that you guys think that we should touch, you can throw yeah. it in the chat. We'll discuss it. Uh, we want this to be an open air environment. Think of it like an open air live stream. Yeah. You know, so. You guys will be very uh, instrumental into creating the topics on this live show. So yeah. we we want you guys to be a part of our masters mm. of the Cineverse Master community. Of the universe. But I just wanted to say, like, um, like we... Seth Rogen is playing Donkey Kong. Listen, is that a thing? Or is that you just joking? Because I, I actually don't know. Is that real? I, I honestly don't know. If, if Donkey Kong is in a castle, I'm tripping. 
I, I really don't know if that's a thing. I kind of hope you're joking. But I just want to say is, look, we're going to start, as he said, we're going to start doing this every week. And we are definitely going to answer all your questions unless we get billions. But And if you do comment while we're not, if you're watching this video in a few days from now and you decide, oh, it's no point commenting, please do, because we we will read it and react to it and, and reply to it, both of us. So just don't think that we won't because we're not live at that time, right? And we want all of you to join us again. Now, is there any other questions that you would like to give us? Oh, also, if you guys run across any news that you think that we should, like, cover, just yeah. go to one of our videos, drop it in a comment, and be like, oh, you can use this for, like, uh, one of your episodes, or, oh, and have you seen this article, or have you seen yeah, this news, or yeah. you heard about this? Um, whatever recent video, and um, we'll get to it, and we'll we'll put it, we'll stash Ooh. it. In the if something breaking and some big deal, some news comes out this week that you're the first or and nobody's heard about, please put it in our comments of this video, and I'll read it, and maybe we can put it on as next week's topic if it's relevant. And yeah, in it's any bad. video, if it's this one or any, because you know, if we drop videos and this gets buried then whichever video pops up first or whatever if you want to jump back to this one too it's fine as well charlie let me charlie see. day is playing luigi i don't know who charlie day is who the hell is Char why does that name sound familiar and jack black jack black is bowser are you serious i i think he's winding us up no nah, he says he's dead serious oh charlie day i don't know I charlie don't know. day is an american actor Oh, he's the kid. He's the dude from Fist Fight with Ice Cube and Horrible Bosses. The guy with the squeaky voice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're talking about. Yeah, okay. I got you. Jack the Black. That Jennifer like Aniston was trying it. to hump, I think. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. That was quite funny, actually. But, yeah. Well, <laughs> I think that'll be it. Doesn't look like there's m many more questions today. And I just want everyone to, I want to thank everyone for joining us. Thanks for all your questions. Thanks for listening to us. And if you have any comments after the show, just let them know and put it in there. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, Movie Mash, Mr. Cinema Chop Shop, Davey from the 80s. I'll put a if link. You check the, below. If you check the description in the video, I have tagged Del Boy's channel and mine. I'm pretty sure he did mine in his. If not, he will do it soon. I've done uh, it. And you can just go straight to the description, click it. It'll take you to the other person's channel, and we'll go about it like that. Yeah. Now, <coughs> I want to say goodbye. Thanks for everyone, and we'll see you next week. But check out some videos. We have more videos anyway, our own videos throughout throughout the week. Check. Yeah, them make out. sure to go browse our content. Um, maybe this week. I don't know. I might. Um, I haven't been dropping the the month of madness videos because I'm freaking tired. So maybe I'll just do a random live stream during the week and then talk about some horror stuff. We'll, we'll figure, I'll figure it out. Well, I'm yeah. going to try and do some videos this week because it's horror week. So I'm going <laughs> to definitely start with Terrifier. But anyway, look, I'm going to ramble on. It was nice talking to you all, and we will see you next week. Thank you guys for returning back from Better Call Saul. We oh, yeah, it. definitely you guys. Serious. And just remember, when we're huge in the next couple of weeks when we're just massive we'll always remember the people who started with us first anyway see you later bye Adios. see you all soon you royal boobs i can't wait <laughs> mm.